Hi, my name is Elena Reeves and I'm the product manager for the marketing services here at eSource. Today I'm here to demonstrate to you a really exciting new tool called the Residential Customer Insight Center. The data within this tool was derived from our partnership with the Nielsen Company and is meant to help you as marketers or program managers find out more about your customers' energy use, behavior, and attitudes towards conservation. Now let's get started. I will now demonstrate four scenarios that you may benefit from through use of this tool. Remember, there are countless numbers of crosstabs that you can run, so please try a few scenarios on your own after this demonstration. You can find this tool at customerinsights.esource.com. In this first scenario, I'm going to try and find out what square footage of homes participate in appliance rebate programs in the state of California. I want to point out that I could run this and any query against the data for your specific utility, but due to data privacy, I'm just going to use individual states for these examples. In this tool, you have to first select the category of information that you're looking for and then the subcategory. In the compare column, I would first select efficiency programs as the category and I could use the scroll bar to find efficiency programs or simply begin typing it in. Next, I would choose a subcategory of any of the efficiency programs that land within the category of efficiency programs. So everything from weatherization services to appliance recycling rebates. In this scenario, I will choose appliance rebates. Since I'm trying to find out what square footage of homes participate in appliance rebate programs in the state of California, in the by column I would choose household characteristics, residents as the category of information that I'm looking for. Underneath the category of residents is everything from age of home to whether or not they are owners or renters to the type of home to the size of home. And in this scenario, I'll select size of home. In the geographic area column, you can look at the data from the perspective of the entire U.S., an individual census region, an individual census division, a specific state, or a specific service territory. I am currently logged in as a PG&E employee, so if I was to click service territory, Pacific Gas and Electric would populate. In this scenario, however, I am going to choose the state of California. To get the most robust set of data, you can select all three years combined or each individual year separately. For this scenario, I'll select all three years. Simply click Run the Report, and the report populates. You can see here, this shows you at the top that you are looking at information relating to appliance rebates by size of home in the state of California between 2009 and 2011. The other great thing about this data is that you can export it to Excel, and you're also able to switch axes. In this second scenario, I'm going to identify the types of homes that have large plug loads, like multiple refrigerators, so that we can understand who would be eligible for an appliance recycling program in the state of Florida. In the compare column, again, I'm going to select the category of information first, being residents. and then the subcategory of type of home. In the by column, I'm going to select appliances, and then number of refrigerators. We're going to look in the geographic area column at the state of Florida. For 2011, click Run Report, And what this shows us is that of those that have three or more refrigerators, 10% of those individuals indicated that they live in a mobile home or trailer, 79% of those individuals live in a single family home. In this third scenario, I want to learn about the motivations to conserve of my customers so that I can better target my messages around efficiency to them. It would be really useful to look at motivations to conserve against yearly income to see if income affects respondents' motivations. 
For this scenario, I'll look at the state of Texas. So first, I'm going to select Motivations to Conserve, and again, I can use the scroll bar or simply begin typing it in as a category. For the subcategory, you have the selection of primary motivations, which looks at improving the environment and saving money and cutting costs, or you can look at individual motivations. In this scenario, I'll choose primary motivation. I'm going to look at that against yearly income. So first, I want to select a demographic variable called personal information. And then, as a subcategory, I would like to select yearly income. As we mentioned, we're going to look at this through the lens of the state of Texas. So I'll select state and then select the state of Texas. In this scenario, I think it would be useful to look at all three years. Click Run Report, and you'll see here that of those that earn more than $100,000 a year, the message of improving the environment and reducing pollution resonates a little bit more than any of the other categories of yearly income. The great thing about this tool is that you can also save your report for a later date if you want to come back to it. They are unique to your profile, so you can always come back to this report, regenerate it, save it, delete it, or manage it in a different way. If you click Save Report and you're happy with the title listed here, you'll see up here that it populates your report has been saved. Once it's been saved, it either resides in this drop-down under Select Save Reports, or you can go to Manage Save Reports page and you'll find it here under Primary Motivations by Yearly Income. Here you can reload the report, you can export it to Excel, you can rename the report, or you can delete it. In this next scenario, I would like to see how channel preferences have changed over time with my customers since 2009 in the state of New York. If I want to see trending information, I first have to select the category of information that I want to see trend over time. So the category under the Compare column is Channel Preferences. Select Communication Preferences as the category, and then Contact Channels as a subcategory. By column, I want to select Years. In Geographic Area, I said I wanted to look at the State of New York. And since we're looking at trending data of all three years, I want to select All for the Years column. Click Run Report. And now you can see how channel preferences have changed over time with my customers in, this, in the state of New York. As you can see here, in 2009, Postal Mail was preferred as a contact channel by 62% of respondents. But by 2011, that number has dropped to 50%. Like I said, these are just four examples of the amazing data available within this tool. Please feel free to reach out to me if you would like help navigating the data for your marketing programs or any particular need that you have. If you would like to schedule some time for help navigating this tool, just give us a call at 1-800-ESource.